Gondor. Where was Gondor when the Westfall fell? Today we're gonna take a look into the Rohan faction in BFME 1 on the patch 1.06 on the beautiful map Westfall this time. So Theoden cannot say anymore where was Gondor when Westfall fell because Westfall is not gonna fall today. This is also gonna be the Rohan guide. Uh, the only guide we are missing for all the four factions in BFME 1. Let's get it started. Let's do this. Let's defend Westfold against Hard Army. 1v1. Alright, so let's do this. We're gonna start always with two farms inside our base and recruit the Hobbit Mary. And then you wanna pick always the draft from the spellbook to give those peasants weapons. And then we can start wall checking by right clicking on the map. And we know now in this case we are playing against the evil faction. Against evil faction we can actually push forward and then recruit two more peasants from the farms inside the base. And with the Hobbit, we can actually send them at the bottom right side or at this side of the map first. Okay, we are gonna lead through the middle, either from the left side or the right side. I feel like right side is better. It's safer because there is a troll layer in the middle of the map, Westfold, okay? And we wanna pressure them as soon as possible. And because we won't be able to buy the farm in the time with the Hobbit, we can actually send them first to this one. And then right to this one. With Alt, you can also give him waypoints. This way he's gonna automatically follow this road, okay? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't run into the troll, I'm telling you. Okay. We might be forced to wait here, because I believe we won't have the money. And now we can actually send those units also from the bottom side. Against evil factions, you want to pressure all the time. We have to wait a couple of seconds, maybe we can spam. Will we get the money we need? Yes, we will get the money we need. And also work with shortcuts. We see Isengards now, we can also beat them. In a situation like this, when you are getting chased by crossbow men, we can get behind the building. Make them follow us. Oh, never mind. There are also Urukai. And like Gimli would like to say, these are not orcs. These are Urukai. Their armor is broad and their, their shield is broad and their armor. No. How was it? Okay, let's kill this crossbow man a little bit. They are chasing us down still. Let's pressure, pressure, pressure. And once again, give those peasants weapons. Okay. Okay, I mean, we got level 2 because crossbow men in a melee fight are very, very vulnerable against against uh, peasants or against anything pretty much. But swordsmen are dealing a lot of damage to the crossbow men. Now we can use the hobbits to grab also this settlement. And the next building inside our base is going to be the stable, okay? Gohan is known for the mobility. And for the early game pressure, we can actually recruit many, many more peasants from the farms also outside. Gohan is the only faction in BFME 1 that is able to recruit units from the settlements outside of his base. You can even make the end mood later on. For example, if you are playing against Gondor, you know? Alright. Uh, we will be fighting this one because there is no way we can actually take down this mill. So deal as much damage as we possibly can. Let's make some more peasants from the farms in the middle of the map. And once again, abuse the um, Rohan's early game power. And let's not cash float. And let's build up the stable right after. That is the plan. And once again, pressure, pressure, pressure. Very important to keep up the pressure. This guy is already going for the armor inside this base. I cannot believe it. <laughs> the stable from Rohan, unlike from Gondor, is cheaper uh, by 200. And also the Rohirrim are cheaper than Gondor Knights. So keep that in mind. Now we can use this Hobbit instead of wasting time and doing nothing. Because in RTS game, you want to always do something, you know? Okay, the stable is up on the field. Now let's recruit some Rohirrim. They're going to cost 420 only because we have so many farms outside. And farms, also for Rohan, just like for Gondor, gives us the food bonus. And makes our Rohirrim and also Rohirrim archers later on cheaper. Okay, so one thing I need to say about Rohan, I believe Rohan is one of the strongest, if not the strongest faction in BFM. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> Alright, I think we made a mistake in attacking the lair instead of the goblins. My bad. Okay, my bad. I mean, this is a story about how to not play Rohan in this case. <laughs> just kidding, okay. Let's make a well also for the sustain. And always not cash loot. Rohan is also only 7 spots in his base, unlike all the other factions. Evil factions like Isengard and, Gon uh, Isengard and Mordor, they have uh, 8 spots and uh, Gondor has even 9 spots in the base. So keep that in mind. Let's not cash loot. The last spot in the base can be saved for something like Armory, for example. It's a big map. And also in a 1v1 situation with Rohan or Gondor, you want to actually rely on your mobile units. In this case, Gondor Knights or for Rohan, the Rohirrim, okay? And don't be together with your Rohirrim, try to be active on the entire map and try to creep as many creeps as possible. This way you can unlock many many power points from the spellbook 
and this is going to be needed to be able to defeat your enemy. Power points in BFME 1, they have a huge impact on the game in the mid to late game. So now we have a couple of options against Isengard. We can also skip the heal and go for the Alvin Elias immediately because you can see this is going to lead us directly to the Alvin Elias. Elf's going to be needed potentially against Isengard because normally in a multiplayer game, if Isengard knows what he's doing, he's going to spam a lot of pikemen. And Elves are great against pikemen. We can now build the armory we are cash looting so much. Let's make another Rohirrim in the meantime. And we have to peel back. You know what we're going to do here? We're going to actually go for a heal. So we can kill this uh, crossbow man. I think that's a great idea. Let's do this. Let's heal them. Go for a trample. Get level 3 this way. We, can, we are creeping this one at the very same time. Oh, here are pretty strong against archers just like that. We can kill them in a second. We were also able to creep this one. And let's, no, lose any, let's not lose any time. Time matters a lot in BFME games. You need to be extremely fast. Okay, that's why we need to make sure that none of our units are actually idle. That they are all doing something. Grab the money from the ground, and also we can kill this Urukai. We can also stand still like this. This way we don't even take damage from the trample. Okay? So now we can recruit maybe Theorin, the king of Rohan. And always buy heavy armor first. Heavy armor is so nice on these units. Looks like he has no pikemen just yet. That means we can even keep going. We have a lot of power points collected. And we can trample down this crossbowman first. But we gotta be careful because there are even more coming. Not run this way. Don't run this way. Let's try to disengage from that way. And let's reach the base to be able to... You know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna try to get Theorin to level 2. Let's group Theorin also with the Rohirrim we had. Actually, we can group him like this maybe. Okay, let's group him like this. Let's keep moving forward. Be careful about this Rohirrim. Let's not lose them because they are level 6 as you can see and tell. Very important. Highly leveled units in BFME 1. We can also give them heavy armor now. And we can creep this one, no big deal. With Jiki, we can guard this area, as you can see. And this way, <clears throat> they're gonna automatically kill everything in this area. Okay, I see units there, let's kill them. Let's use the wedge formation. Uh, Tildin is also able to share enough, a lot of experience, as you can see. And with Trample, we are getting so much experience. Okay, almost level 3 already. Pretty strong units, as you can see and tell. And now we need to make sure to pressure the meals all the time. You are also in... Oh, this guy is actually gate-wrenching us. Okay, be careful here. Let's not lose them. Let's close the gate and make a post on gate instead. Looks like he won't be able to enter the base. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually go for a base rush. We have now heavy armor purchase and also forge plates purchase on our Rohirrim. And that's what I was trying to say. He has pikemen now. What we can do is we can just use Elven Elias. And elves with Theorin leadership, they're gonna kill those units in time. Just don't, just make sure that your Rohirrim are not taking any kind of damage for no reason. And now we can move with them. There's even a Berserker on the field. We can kill him with the Rohirrim. He's pretty strong. Okay, let's keep moving now. If also this unit recovering over time. Let's fight for the map control with the one Rohirrim. And let's use the other two Rohirrim, including Theorin himself. To deal some economical damage to the base. And also to the buildings. Let's target the pikemen. There is Lourdes. But I believe he has not the damage for output he needs to kill us. And once again, we are actually targeting those pikemen. Because they are only able to... In, you know, he doesn't cripple us, but... Even if, he, even if he would, you know, that wouldn't change anything. Make sure to not fight the pikemen in a situation like this. Whenever we are forced to retreat, we can retreat. Don't overcommit. In the meantime, our units are fighting for the map control. Now we can hit and run. Hit and run. Okay, let's now... We can maybe recruit Legolas. After buying all the upgrades from the armory, we can also demolish the armory. Because in BFME 1, after you buy all the upgrades, you know, you will be able to buy them also on your units, even if your armory is demolished, okay? So it's gonna take a spot for no reason from your base. It's a giant map, and a map like this, you need to be extremely active. Always take a look into the settlements on the minimap, and always try to fight for them. Map control is everything in BFME 1. Trust me on that one, okay? So we can buy this one now. We can also fight for this one. He was able to kill our buildings. We can trample them. No big deal. Okay. Level almost 10 as you can see and tell. Let's buy this farm. It's pikemen. But it's not a big deal. We can just avoid fighting them because they will never be able to catch us. Legolas is on the fields now. We can use Legolas maybe also to kill this pikeman. Legolas is one of the strongest uh, heroes against units. Even against heroes. But he's very squishy. 
and also very expensive he costs 3000 and getting him on the field in most situations is kind of very difficult okay so buying all the upgrades demolishing that one in our outpost you want to make sure to build a well for the sustain the statue for extra damage leadership and uh, combat experience and then we're also gonna build archer range because we can use those arches to put them inside the outpost okay so now we have level 40 and that means glorious charge is unlocked that's a mad what is this unit doing <laughs> my hero doing i mean sorry with haste. Let's use Hulk Strike, maybe. These two will fly like brothers. Fly like brothers. There we go. Beautiful. Hitting like an absolute truck. When he needs assistance, we can always use our units to heal him. I mean, to kill the units around. Okay. Yodin uh, has to be careful about the spike men, and Degolas can kill them in no time. Be careful here. Degolas is one shotting them, as you can see and tell. Very, very strong hero. The prince of the Mirkwood Elves at the end of the day. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> they have no chance against the mighty Legolas. It's all about to hit level 4. Okay, one quick tip I can give you now in a situation like this. Maybe something you don't even know yet. Your train archer's ability from Legolas does also work on Lord, for example. Even Let's say you are playing 2v2. And your ally is Isengard and you are playing Rohan. And you get your Legolas to level 4 to unlock his train archers. You can use that on your ally's Lord to give him experience. It works pretty nicely. In order to get your archer range to level 2, you will need to recruit 3 human archers. And that's gonna give us the chance to purchase the fire upgrade. As Rohan, I would like to uh, recommend you to play with uh, mobile units, okay? In this case, Rohirrim archers. They are very, very strong and super reliable. Rohan is also the only faction that has archers on horses. And they are also very strong once they get some levels and once they have some leadership. Okay, we can also build a statue here and, for example, a farm to even get some more money. We can also recruit Aragorn and I can teach you something about Aragorn, okay? Legolas is gonna handle the situation, not a big deal for him. Let's keep fighting for the map control in the meantime. Let's put these arches inside. Get this farm under our control. Move this area. Legolas is level 5 now. Beautiful. And he has no pikemen, so we don't even need to be careful about this situation because our Rohirrim are gonna run them down anyway. And they have no chance, okay? Aragorn is gonna be on the field, and when you recruit Aragorn, you always wanna make sure that you have the Anduril Sword from the spellbook of Rohan. Anduril Sword, as you can see and tell, is gonna double the damage of Aragorn, 50% increased armor, and also, which is quite underrated, is 25% movement speed. This way, he's gonna f move fast, you know, much, much faster. Okay, let's show you something about Aragorn you may not know just yet. But first of all, let's buy this farm. And we can also buy this outpost right after. Okay, Legolas can actually help him to kill this Urukai, so he doesn't need to waste time. Uh, Rohirrim Arches on the field. Archer range level 2, let's buy fire. Let's also put one of these Arches in the second outpost, okay? This way we have some defense later on if we ever move forward with our units. Um, and this outpost is gonna get attacked. Beautiful. Okay. So let's show you now Aragorn's uh, damage output. Aragorn is by far, and when I'm saying by far, I mean it. The tankiest hero in the game with the Anduril Sword from the <laughs> from the spellbook and the Blade Master from his spells. Powers. Okay? And there is one thing you may not know just yet, because I will and I will show you that, okay? So you use Blade Master. And you hit the, uh, the Citadel. You see his attack speed? You can even make him hit, hit faster. You see? And you right click over and over again, you can actually cancel his auto attack animation. Do you see that? It also works against units, of course. Aragorn is very, very strong. He has also Athena, self sustain, also healing up the heroes around him. So, very, very strong hero. Okay? Nice. There is one more hero I want to show you a trick with, and this is going to be Eowyn. The shields made enough Rohan. If they are going to chase you down like this, you can always use Elendil. And they're gonna disengage from you because they are scared. And who wouldn't be scared of Aragorn, Narathuan's son? The King Elessar himself from Gondor. Rohan will win this day. <laughs> Rohan will win this day, okay. So now let's use our Rohirrim arches to actually give them also fire upgrade. Of course, your three arches from Legolas is also working on the Rohirrim arches. This way we can make them stronger. Very, very strong hero, this Legolas. Hitting like an absolute track. Watch him. How fast he's shooting. He's leveling up. Level 6 now, very strong, very powerful, okay? I mean, he can t try to take down this farm, I don't mind that, but we can also protect this one with this arches, just for not. Okay. Rohirrim arches, they are level 2, and watch what's gonna happen if we're gonna use 3 arches. Watch now. 
um, level 4. I mean, level 3, but they are getting level 4 because of the combat experience from the statue. And also Aragorn is giving you combat experience. 100%. This one also gives you 100. In total, you have now 200% combat experience in your heroes or units. In this case, I'm going to level up like crazy. Okay? Gate is closed. We are in a safe spot. Okay, let's actually take a look into Eowyn maybe. And for that reason, we can also recruit uh, her brother, Eomir. Eowyn is a very situational hero in BFME 1. And actually quite reliable against Mordor, for example, okay? Against Mordor, she is a very cheap counter to the Nazgul and to the Witch King himself. With her smite ability, the Spear Troll. Deals massive bonus, dam bonus damage against those kind of heroes, against Mordor. Keep that in mind. And the thing is, her smite ability has a really long cooldown, okay? I will show you the cooldown. Uh, let's move forward. And this is a trick barely anyone knows in the game, and even experienced players don't know that. You use smite. You see, smite is on cooldown. And let's run it down now with the Aomi, okay? Watch her smite ability. Once, our, once Aomi is dead, let's use heal on Aomi exclusively. She doesn't die. Watch smite. You see, if any nearby uh, allied hero dies close to Eowyn, besides Mary, it doesn't work with Mary, she's gonna be able to reset the cooldown of the smite, and your opponent might also not be able to know that. So for example, you are using that against Witch King, it deals 50% of the Witch King's, is, uh, Witch King's life, and uh, Witch King, 5 seconds later, is killing, for example, Theodin. So just, just like in the films, you are able to revenge your King of Rohan with the Spear Throw. He actually killed our Citadel for some reason. I'm fine with that. We can fight this. I don't mind. We have level uh, 6 archers here, as you can see and tell. Okay. Uh, and also, what you can do, for example, you have so many power points collected. You can always go... Uh, let's group all our uh, Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers together. Bring Tilden also with. Aragorn Legolas can also join the party. And even Eowyn can join. Just why not? Let's move forward to the bottom left side. Once you have 5,000 and you are playing against a camper and you need to break the wall, and that's the only way you can break the wall with Rohan, you can go for the end mode. If the end mode, during its building up, you know, in the cancel, ever gets attacked from your opponent, it's gonna reset and you will be able to use your ends immediately. So, for example, if you are playing against Rohan, you wanna make sure to not attack this building. Otherwise, it's gonna spawn the... Why are these archers not attacking? Oh, they are attacking, actually, okay. Otherwise, it's gonna spawn the ants immediately. <laughs> and it's super hard to deal with them. If you have no fire, you know? Fire is their biggest weakness. But there is also one thing. If you burn with your ants, and there is a river on the map, which, for example, is not, big, is not being the case on the map Westfold, you can put them on the water, and they will be able to get rid out of the fire. Just like that. Okay? So let's kill these units real quick. Legolas. He's hitting like a truck, ballistas, and also his siege weapons generally are hurting in BFME games a lot. And for that reason, you need to make sure that you kill them first. Okay. I mean, Aragorn is gonna hit like a truck anyway. Aragorn, go there, my friend. Eowyn has to be careful. Eowyn has to be careful. Okay, we can use Atelas, hit them up, no big deal. And Mood is up on the field. This ants, they're not gonna be staying on, on the field permanently, but the ants you are recruiting from the ants mood afterwards, they're gonna be staying on the field permanently. So pretty good. Eowyn can be here, Eowyn can be also... Uh, Eowyn is inside. You can also put your heroes inside if you wanna get in safety. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Don't attack this mine in a situation like this, please, with the fire or upgraded units, because it's gonna boom, and your Aragorn would be dead. Yes, Aragorn is tanky, but he's not tanky enough. Actually, the mine has a crazy amount of damage output. They are moving slow as you can see and tell, but once they get attacked or once one of them is burning, they're gonna be in the rage, and in the range, in the rage, they're gonna move also quite fast. Uh, oh, we are getting siege here, right? No, we are not getting siege. We can also recruit Gimli, why not? And I think the question is gonna come in the comment section down below: Why would you not make any uh, elves? Because elves are not really reliable. They are quite immobile and not being used in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Look at these ants, they are very tanky. Especially if they have no fire, they can also tank arrows for ages. And Treebed is gonna give them leadership too. That's gonna increase their range by 20%. And ants, by the way, have the longest range in the game anyway. 
so they outrange any other siege weapon guys with uh Tio with i mean tribute the protector of the Thangon forest they're gonna move a bit faster because of the increased 25 percent movement speed but also they're gonna shoot from downtown let me demonstrate you okay so there is a ballista shooting from a very long range okay he's barely able to attack aragon right now oh, oh aragon has to be careful by the way taking a lot of damage let him chase aragon blade master is gonna make him so tanky look that's the range of this ballistas look at the range in compare with the ants they also deal a lot of damage uh, to buildings but not that much against units but the damage should also not be underestimated be careful to not attack the mine with the units especially with fire or upgraded you're gonna where is aragon aragon needs to be careful he's still attacking our aragon for some reason he has so many ballistas on the field use atelas let's even make some more ants ants also if you don't know are very vulnerable against lam lumber mill worker what is happening <laughs> Oh, oh, Gimli, be careful. This guy in the meantime. In the meantime, he was going ham in your in my base. Okay, let's use AOD here just for, for the memes. I wasn't even paying attention, sorry. Okay, so let's go for the siege with the end army. We can make an end army potentially. With the army after that, we can kill everything. He was ramming our base with, you know, and breaking everything with the ballista and rams. And even ladders. This guy is crazy. Rohan against Isengard, the epic show match. Very, very strong. I mean, these units are not able to attack for whatever reason. Okay, Gimli, it's your turn. The ends are going to war. Let's see. And this end has no stone in his hands, that's why. Okay, let's kill this. Let's see inside. Oh, you see? <laughs> Alright, Treebeard, it's your time to revenge. Okay, Treebeard. Guys, guys, Treebeard against Sauron, okay? A match we have not seen in the movies, but now he's ra raging. When a uh, light end is dying to him, close to him, look his damage output. He's burning. That's a really annoying, uh, annoying thing. Boom! You see his damage, but he's gone because he's very vulnerable against fire and ballistas too. Okay, we have eight power points collected now. We can even call more ends to revenge this time. Uh, Saruman. I mean, uh, Tribiel, of course. Sorry, my bad. Chase him down. Look this fire. Look him. This Saruman is an end killer. Hit him one time ends. Go back. <laughs> Alright. These guys in the meantime, these ballistas are being super annoying. Let's build some more farms. I mean, we lost the stable unfortunately, but it is how it is. We can also try to make some defense here. Just why not? We don't need to be extremely careful about the situation. Okay. So we gotta be careful. Don't, oh, don't, 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 don't attack. Don't attack. Let's give Aragorn the number two and use Aragorn to kill the mine. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna save for death and glory. And we're gonna go ham inside the jeans, okay? Okay, let's go. Trample them down with the glorious charge. Besides getting damage and armor boost, you also get slow resistant. Nothing can slow him. Slow them. Okay, all the ballistas are gone. Everything is gone. And let's actually go for the attack. He has so many ballistas on the field, that's actually quite annoying. But it is. Oh, it is. Okay. Aragon can kill this citadel once again. Uh, looks, we can also move maybe to this side with this unit. We have to be careful. We have no more glorious charge. We have Blade Master though. And once again, Aragon is very tanky. Super, super tanky. But you also don't want to underestimate the damage output from these ballistas. And the thing is, we also don't have uh, the horseman shields. Horseman shields are the key if you want to be able. Oh, Theoden is going to die potentially. Be careful. Eobin, be careful too. Aragon is still in a safe spot, I would say. Hitting very hard, as you can see and tell. He also lost all the... Oh, he has Balrog even on the field. And I'm, I, I'm gonna show you now the damage from Eowind against Balrog. He's dealing zero damage. <laughs> because Balrog is not gonna be hurt from many, many uh, heroes slash units. But Aragorn is none of them. Aragorn is actually hitting very hard against Balrog, if you don't know. So let's make him maybe... He's gonna potentially target our archers. No, he's actually going... Yeah. Oh, 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 don't take the breath fire, though. Look, Aragorn's damage. And we have no uh, Bleed Master. <laughs> I mean, of course, he's also dealing a lot of damage to Aragorn. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. 
Let's beat them here. <laughs> I was like, are you trying? Kill him. Kill him fast. Okay, nice. Did we lose any heroes? And Gimli is still alive. We lost the arches too. But we are in a we are generally in a safe spot. Uh, let's make some Rohirrim arches first. Let's re revive three builds and make... Uh, we have not much money left, actually. Oh, three, oh, he was actually trying to kill our base, too, with Balrog, but he wasn't able to do that, luckily for us. Let's be expanding a little bit. Gimli is level 3 now. He has Leap Attack. Gimli is not very strong in BFME 1, unfortunately, and very slow until he gets level 7, which is a massive power spike with the Slayer. Then he's gonna be strong, but... It's very hard to get him to level 7 at the first place since he's a very slow moving hero. Which makes kind of sense because Aragorn and Legolas and Theoden and Eomi are so powerful that making Gimli very strong as well would be just kind of a, a bit too much, you know? Boom. You see his damage though? Pretty good, pretty good. Maybe we can use AOD here and share experience with Gimli. You can see, we are sharing experience every time uh, your heroes are nearby. Uh oh are we gonna lose this be before getting any units on the field? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, actually, hopefully we're not gonna lose the Citadel. We can also make some peasants for defense. Yeah, but we lost it. We lost it, unfortunately. Ah, oh, Aragorn is back on just on in time. We can also cancel the peasants now to save our Citadel. Once the Ballista is gone, we are in a safe spot. Aragorn can also kill them in no time. Uh, Gimli has to be careful. Oh, level 6. Be careful, though, against pikemen. Don't fight them. Okay, we are not having too much money, as you can see and tell. And they are also attacking us all the time. Let's actually check if he has purchased this outpost right there. Yes, he did. Otherwise, we would be able to use the Alvin Wood, <clears throat> if he wouldn't have it. You can, for example, see here, he has a mill. That's why we are not able to use it. But here, there is... Uh, oh, this is our farm. We are also not able to use it. Whenever there is something on the ground... Then you already know that you, when you can't use the Elven Wood, then you know that there is a settlement under the control from the players. Okay, so let's use rocks with all the trees and let's go for an attack, shall we? Okay, let's heal up a little bit. Also with Gimli, level 5 now, pretty good, pretty good. Aragorn was also able to deal with these units, repair the wall, I mean the gate, sorry. Oh, Saruman, okay. Aragorn, you wanna see Aragorn's pass power? You see his damage? And he's one of the two heroes in the game that has also a level 10 ability. Alongside with Guns of Tobida, of course. He's able to summon the Offbreakers, the army of the dead. One battalion, but it's still, you know, it can kill every unit. <laughs> and even heroes in seconds. The army of the dead is very strong. The strongest ability in the game. Look, <laughs> look, Lurz. <laughs> uh, they are throwing rocks against him and he's, he's running for his life. Let's kill the Baristas. Once again. Uh, he's giving them also armor, so they are tankier. And you can see that the ants are dealing way more damage. We can also end, we can also heal them, just like anything can be healed in BFME 1. Anything, pretty much, guys. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can even, you know, heal up the Balrog, for example, from your ally. If he has a Balrog in a 2v2 match, you can heal him. Pretty easily. Okay, let's attack this area now with these archers too, just why not. Beautiful. And kill the siege weapons first. Let's make some more Rohirrim arches. A fine hit. A fine hit. You kill this. Make sure that your attack is worth it. We can even get some more ends on the field just why not. Now we have six. Tribit is able to one-shot this. He's using freezing rain. That's gonna nullify all the leadership from us. Let's give them all rocks so they are able to use the range advantage they got. Okay, let's attack the buildings. Let's attack the slaughterhouse just to see the range of these units, okay? Okay. Well, one of them has also rocks, but I don't know why he is not trying to attack. Okay. Tribit has more range than the normal ends. He's the hero of. Oh, there is another Balrog actually. Okay, is this the time for you, for me to shine, uh, to show you guys the power of Aragorn with Blade Master? But I think he's gonna be gone very soon, unfortunately. So Tribit is gonna take also some damage. Uh, we have enough Rohirrim matches now, let's use them. You could also make Eomir for even more leadership, but right now all the leadership from us is getting be is getting negated. Because of the uh, say it, because of the freezing rain. Oh he was using breath fire in our base actually. 
Spadrock knows what he's doing. Look at his damage. He's one-shotting everything. He is the beast destroyer himself. Oh, three beard. Kill him! Oh, he is, we should be using the melee attacks, but the ballistas are dealing a lot of damage, unfortunately. Okay, let's buy this farm. Destroy this outpost. Pretty good. After now, we can also use three arches whenever it's available, and also King's Favor can be used to give them even more experience. Just like that, pretty good. Okay, so give them number one. I mean, he's so he's so strong. He, we don't need to be worried about him. Trust me. Okay. Let's use glorious charge and go for death and glory. We have to kill the ballistas first. Because the Ballistas are attacking our buildings and ignoring everything else. Split the damage too. We lost the lost stable, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's make the stable here. We were, before we lost the stable, we were able to buy... Look how many Ballistas. Let's see Saruman's uh, HP against... Uh, without even without leadership. That's the proof of Ohira matches being very, very strong. Against anything, pretty much. The only weakness of them is they are pretty squishy. Don't attack this. <laughs> Don't attack this. Okay, Aragon is still fighting himself. We can now buy this one, not a big deal. We can keep moving and make some more um, extra farms from this outpost. I mean, it's it looks like I'm struggling, but I'm actually trying to explain you guys anything. Otherwise, this guys would be this is this hard army would be dead long time ago. Trust me on that one. All right, he has even more Valisas, not a big deal. Let's keep moving until we get close to the range and then split the damage. Always split the damage. So not everyone is able, to, not everyone is gonna be forced to attack the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Aragorn is level 10. You can even use the AOD here. Use Atalas for the, for the self-sustain. Oh, nice. Okay, now what we're gonna do now? Are there even more ballistas? Oh, dude. Okay, it's time to destroy this siege works, okay? Kill this Palisa, please. Right, let's move. Okay, let's also put Eomir close to the units. This way he's gonna also share experience and get very, very fast levels. Let's move. Nice. And Legoras can handle this one. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's make, let's make the speech of Theodin. Like in the movie, you know, he's walking from side to side. A sword day. A red day. Ere the sun rises and death glory is such. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, you can already tell I'm kind of a little bit Lord of the Rings nerd. But I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm always excited when I see anything Lord of the Rings related. And I also, I also want to say thank you guys for the huge support on this channel. We are really, really close to level uh, to 10,000 subscribers. And I was never thinking about this. When I first started this channel, it was a niche for me, I was like, okay, maybe some people out there in the world are sharing the same passion like me. And I was wrong, I was actually wrong. There are more than some people, there are actually thousands and thousands of people. And I'm so proud of, of that, and I'm really grateful for every single one of you guys. You are awesome, and really means a lot to me, for you guys. Uh, from seeing messages from you in the comment section down below and seeing that this video is being liked from you guys means a lot to me i would also be happy if you guys join us in the multiplayer scene and follow us on twitch twitch tv slash beyond standards for even more games and tournaments and competition about pfme games in the future so i hope i was able to teach you something uh, about this game one thing i want to show before we actually gonna end this game uh, one one small funny thing I want to show you guys. Let's use heal here. To be able to sustain a little bit. Okay. Eomir, once he gets level 4, he's going to be also having his horse lord leadership, which means 60% more damage and 50% more combat experience for the units. Let's kill the Urukpet. Uh, oh, he's attacking this one, actually. Okay, let's use the Alvin allies to save this one for, for now. Okay, so with Gimli, if you don't know, you're also able to jump on top of the wall. Okay, watch this now. Just in case you didn't, you can also jump off the wall. Just like in the films, kind of a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And many people don't know that. So, for example, if you are playing Rohan Mirror and you have a really strong Gimli, like he's level 7, you can jump on top of the enemy wall 
<laughs> get him, uh, you know, in the bees alone, and he will be able to destroy so much because he's so powerful. We are able to save this one for now. Let's build farms here. Let's use the sword to kill this. Pretty good, pretty good. Legolas can actually purchase this outpost at the bottom right side. And we are going for the victory, yes, of course, with the last march of the end. Level 9, level shield median. You can make her look like Rohirrim with the disguise ability. And as we are throwing the rocks on the ground, we are also going to be victorious in this game against Isengard. And just like in the films, Isengard will be defeated. And this time, my King Theodin, Westfold, didn't fail. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Likes are helping quite a lot for the YouTube algorithm. And once again, check me out on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. I would be super happy to see you in my next live stream. Until then, guys, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay Beyond Standards. Peace.